All right, good morning. I'm going to keep my volume down because my family's asleep. Yeah, it's 8.20 a.m. We were up late last night. Um, so with the HD home run, Connect Quattro. So I, I actually already started a video, had some issues, and I lost the actual recording. Camtasia crashed on me. So I'm going to start over as best as I can. Some of it's already set up. So once you get the HD Home Run Connect Quattro plugged into your network, your antenna plugged into it, you go to myhdhomerun.com. Now I have both the HD Home Run Prime and the Connect Quattro. So once you have this, um, if you're not on the latest version as of January 21st, the version was 2017-1208. Um, if it was not, which mine was not up to date, you just click here and then you would click update firmware. Now, also it would say zero channels. So you click on the 65 channels, it takes you into the menu, and you just hit detect channels. And as you see, I already have my channels. These are everything I'm getting over the air. To me, the important ones are three, six, 10, uh, 12, 17, 29, and 57. I get I get all the ones I want. Also, Ion TV is pretty good. And there's some other ones in here are pretty good. So, once you get this far, you will have um, all this. You're actually done. But, of course, I'm still in the midst of trying to figure out the front end I really want to use. Um, so I'll show you a little bit more. A Longhorn Salmon. There we go. The feeling, the flavor, the place. A Longhorn Steakhouse. Channel 3. Escape to a world of winning. The Borgata Online Casino app. This is the channel I have the biggest problem with. It's the hardest for me to get, as you see. So, I have to work on the antenna placement. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better. Alright. They head into the NFC Championship. Natasha Brown has more on how this has led to a specialty t-shirt Go Vikings. Alright. So, and no, I'm not a Vikings fan. Um, so that's this part. I got this far, and I was having an issue, and I went up to the next PVR forums, which I'll show you. And the problem I was having is I also I use X, I like it next PVR the best as a front end. And the issue I was having, so I came up here, I was following. Somebody said that um, I was scanning Quam, which has been dead here for two years. Well, when I went in, I didn't see Quam. Um, what I saw was just four over-the-air zero channels and my HD Home Run Prime. I actually see this Prime on all of them. Um, when I went in here and I would do a scan, it would find zero channels. It was driving me crazy. And, yeah, as you can see, it was working here. If I went into HD Home Run Config, it saw the, the prime is here. Here's my over the air. There's channel 10.1 and the signal strength is great. So it's like, okay, it's working. What's going on? Um, uh, here we go. This is the actual, uh, okay, so this is the actual machine I use for DVRing. It was showing the same thing. It also has the Hopog card. Um, it does work. I deleted the channels out of here. Just thinking maybe that was the issue. So up on the forums, yeah, I, you know, saying I was having an issue. Somebody replied in. Your device screen display is confusing. I'm just detecting as a as a HDR Prime. <clears throat> he would expect to show two available tuners. So it told me exactly what to do here. So I sat back and went, okay. Let's go down to HD Home Run setup. Alright, and I'm back at this area. And what caught me was, I'm sitting here and this said new, did not say okay. 
and I'm like okay new so I clicked on it and it took me up to here and I got nowhere so I'll show you that other piece in a second so I'm looking across the top I'm like alright BDA compatibility I did have it to next PVR and over here I think he or someone else uh, right here so I changed it to default I'm going to change it back to next PVR but I, I realized these tabs I'm like wait a minute so I clicked here there were zero channels so I did a scan I found all these channels I said okay and then when I went into next PVR I came in went to devices <coughs> And now I think it's looking a little, little bit better. It's not seeing it as a, as a prime, just as a HD home run tuner, which is definitely what we want. Um, so this is far. I haven't gotten any further this morning. So we're gonna hit it scan, and it'll probably take a while. If it does, I'll probably pause the video, see how long this takes. So I actually use Next PVR on Windows boxes. I use Plex with the live TV um, to uh, stream around, you know, on my cell phone if I'm out of the house, uh, on iPads, laptops, or whatever. So I have like multiple front ends. All right, I'm gonna pause this. Let this go through. Alright, it's still scanning through the channels, but as we see though, I've got sections, and the other nice thing is you can uncheck the ones you don't want to show up. Um, let's see, did I get the channel 6 yet? That's the biggie to me. Um, for me to be able to get rid of cable TV, I have to be able to get all the local channels, so the wife is happy. But there's 3, 10, I still don't see 6, it's still scanning, up oh, there's 6. 3, 6, 10, 12, so 17. I'm going to let this keep scanning. Alright, so scan is complete. Um, within here, uh, things are not in order of what it detected because I was clicking away. So one of the other things, um, as you'll notice, I'm new to over the air, but like channel 12 when it was scanning, I expected to say, hey, channel 12 was scanning. It's actually, they're a little different. Um, so like, as a, like I said, I was having a problem with channel 6. I was waiting for it to say scan channel 6. It did. It moved on. And it wasn't channel 6. Anyway, so here's my channel. So we say OK. They're down here. And you can delete the channels individually you wish to remove them. All right. This I know takes a very long time. We'll go ahead and do it. seconds just on this one so I'm going to pause it or else this video will be hours long okay <clears throat> dropped my oldest off at uh, wrestling got me some Dunkin Donuts coffee let's get going so here we go I just got back and it's done so let's go to the next tuner alright it already see that uh, one is configured we'll go ahead and grab it let it import it we'll do the next and the last. Okay. So we are good. That's interesting though that it still sees these four as HD Home Run Prime. When I do have a triple cable tuner, as you see, um, that noise would be my son, the other son, going up the steps. All right. Anyway, so here we go. We're good. Let's hit OK. TV Guide. Look at that. So, double click. Okay, so here we go. Eyewitness News. You can do a record, quick record, record, watch. Let's see what we got. 
Ugh. Alright, we don't have any sound. So, let's go back. Settings. Alright, let's, uh, decoders. Okay. Let's give a shot. We'll play around with these and I'll be right. Alright, I'll get back to that um, on the audio piece. But that's how we get the over the air channels into Next PVR. So now off to Plex. So I have Plex. We have uh, Plex passes required to do live TV and DVR. Alright. So as you saw, settings, server live TV DVR and I already have my dual tuner here and just to show you real quick program guide CBS hmm interesting this was working yesterday let's give Fox a try Uh, come to work on Monday for about four hours to help. And we do have audio there, there, so they'll leave as well. Those All right. went out yesterday, um, and then so let's go back. Let's settings, server, live TV, add device. Now I don't have my HD Home Run Prime in here because what I was told is you can only have one or the other, over the air or cable. Now that's one thing I really like about the Next PVR app is you can have it all um, so I have to decide yeah because I'm still playing around with everything what I want to set up and if I get rid of cable then that'll go away <clears throat> so alright so I already found 65 channels you can scan if you wish I'm not going to I believe it reads the HD home run setup so go ahead and say next here's where you can uncheck the channels that you don't want um, and sometimes channels are unmapped so you can map them so let's see 4.7 is not in the list doesn't mean you can't keep them 24.1 not here um, I'll give an example the way I found this out was channel 6 was like this for me and these were blank so I checked it off scrolled down saw 6 and chose it and then it was good to go. Alright, continue. Now it's downloading the program excuse me, downloading the program guide. As you see up here it's downloading the guide. And here's all the channels I guess. Let's see we're on right now. This is all over the air. The biggie for me um, what I notice is a lot of shows we watch are on 3, 3, 6, 10. Here, here we go. This is on 61. So I like the next, I like the Plex. I do not like this view though because, okay, Sunday morning, okay, if you know what show you want, Fox News, you know what channel Fox is in your area, <clears throat> but doesn't tell you the channel down here. I would love it to say 3 or 6. Um, that's my biggest gripe with it. The other nice thing is you can see what's starting soon. New episodes. My upcoming shows. So you can come in. You can record it. Click here. Um, I actually have my other machine does my DVR. So we're good with that. Let's, uh, all right. So here's Plex. I showed you that piece. I showed you that next PVR. Uh, like I said, I don't have sound. I'm not too worried about getting sound working on this machine itself because this isn't my DVR. I'll bring up my DVR machine. Okay, so here we go. Next PVR. This is the app I use to do my DVR. I'm having a problem with the TV guide at the moment. As you see, not no channels are showing. Um, I'm using the free zap to it where everybody's saying if I go with the schedules direct it'll work um, so I might have to do that but for now 
right now let's go to settings channels uh, devices and it should detect my hop hog my AC home run prime yep here's the HD home run prime here's the hop hog tuner and here's the uh, HD quattro so on each machine you have to run the HD home run now this has the older software on it so it's a configure no definitely not this one it's the setup alright see updates are available so we'll download and install now out of that <clears throat> all right it took a while for it to go anywhere <clears throat> now it's going If you're on Windows 10, it launches the store. Let's see why. Oh, okay. So the app is now Windows 10 Microsoft Store. Oh, this is, is going to be the AC Home Run View app. And while that's going, let's take a quick look. If you remember, I said I had the old software on here. Yep, it removed it. Okay. Alright, so here we go. This is what I had to do before. See how it says new? That's the issue I had originally when I was scanning in XPVR and getting zero channels. You have to come into this, hit scan. Yeah, so this has to be done on every PC you're going to use to view. Even if you're not going to use the HD Home Run View app, you still need to run the software to get this piece to do the scan. So that way you can use any other software. And here we go. So I'll say next and finish. All right close out of this. I mean, I'll launch it, but it's going. Found two devices. Here we go. Probably have to... Uh, I got oh, there we go. Alright, so that was, that was viewing through Team Viewer. <clears throat> okay, let's go back in here. Next PVR settings, devices. All right, so now we'll see what we get in this list. At some point, I gotta set this machine up as the server. I know you can do client server, and so obviously, I'll have to read through the documentation of get this so that way um, I can view the over-the-air channels from any Windows 10 box over the, you know, over the air from what from this machine all right and here we go so we're back with this so still sees as H still doesn't see it the way I expected it to. Interesting. Let's uh, exit out. 
all right, I didn't know how long it was going to take, so I paused it. It only took like three minutes. I exited next PVR, relaunched it again, went back into devices, and this time it now sees them as we expected. All right, and it still sees these four as prime, which I don't care. So we'll go into ATSC, which we saw me do this on the previous one, hit scan, and it'll go through. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all these. We'll be right back. Okay, completed. So something else I forgot, which I'll show you, which I could have done. I'll say OK there. I'll say OK. Alright. Uh, EPG, which I actually took my son to wrestling and came back. So I don't know how long it took, but I know it takes a while. I'm going to go ahead and do it. But what I was going to tell you is, see these export-import channels? My machine over here, I could have exported the channels and imported them in here and wouldn't have had to do a scan so I don't mind it scanning the initial um, we'll get this uh, get TV guide going Ooh, I not even a week yet all right we'll be back when this is done <laughs> like I said it takes a while all right so I just sat down and it finished that's nice so as we already know we double click it should be able to grab each of the configurations So I just ran upstairs to one of my smart TVs. I hit the source button and I have my Plex server shows up. I show two HD home run boxes now. I chose the cable one and it burped at me saying unsupported file type. I chose the over the air box and it was pretty neat. So I had to do a video on that just to show like some of the different smart TVs. If you don't use actual apps, you can have a smart TV and you hit the source button and as long as your TV's on your network it could find the cards and use them. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's say, you know what, while we're at this, well, I'll say okay. Alright, let's look at the TV guide. And you can also, if you're on a keyboard, you can actually type I believe. Yep, hit six enter. There we go. So, which is interesting is on my smart TV, I went to channel six and it was not hesitant at all, which is, which was nice. Let's see. There we go. And I have audio, as you can probably hear. So, this other one I don't. Alright. Alright, there's that. So what I also like with Next PVR itself, um, oh, look at that data doesn't go out that far. That's interesting. So the other thing I like about this program is I have a Windows Media Center remote, an old style remote, and the guide button will bring up this guide, and everything works really nice. Let me uh, find that room. Let's see, let's see if I can. Uh, Windows XP Media. Center remote. All right, the remote looks like this, but that is not the box I have. Let's go to images, see what we got. Here it is, right here. This guy right here, and this one. Um, it works really well. I'm going to pick up a couple more. Now I see there's these other fancy looking remotes. I might look into them. I also have this keyboard, so I have this set up right here upstairs. Um, I have two Intel NUCs. I'm going to set everything up, Windows 10, Next PVR, the Media Center remotes, and what's nice is if I go to get to cut the cable TV, I can just drop the one box out and we're good to go. So I'm trying to get everything where no matter what piece I remove from the equation, everything will still work. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, there's more to the, to the uh, TV guide and whatnot. i got to figure out how to download over the air now. That uh, was my son telling me my wife needs me. So I hope hope uh, that showed you a little bit of some of the capabilities, Plex, Next PVR, um, and all that. And uh, um, not until I, I guess uh, I'll do another video up soon. Bye.